So in New Jersey in 2010, 5.2% of all young children were undercounted. That's about 27,000 kids. Every 10 years, the Census Bureau counts how many people are living here. The count determines how federal funds get distributed, how many electoral votes a state gets, and even how many representatives it has in Congress. Whether it's Medicaid, whether it's SNAP, whether it's Title I schools, these are all programs that rely on an accurate census count. And for young children in particular, these programs are extremely important. But young children, or children under the age of five, were the most undercounted population of age group in the last census, according to Advocates for Children of New Jersey, which hosted a forum on the importance of counting kids in the 2020 census. William O'Hare was a keynote speaker. A lot of it has to do with living conditions, that they live with young parents, they live in rental units, they live in poverty households, that they uh, often live in complex households, like a young child living with a grandparent, and those kinds of situations are more prone to be missed in the census. Newark resident Patrice Hutchinson is a mother of four, whose child relies on the services from Programs for Parents, a federally funded program that allows her four-year-old to attend after school and summer programs at a discounted rate. I'll give you a figure. 20,000 children that want to participate in the program, but if we're only counting that there are 10,000 kids, the, we're only going to get funding for what they would think would be what we would need. About 72% of New Jersey residents filled out a census in 2010, but if a city had a population that filled out less than that number, well, those are considered places that are hard to count. We want to pay special attention to these hard to count communities. For the first time, the state has formed the Complete Count Commission to help get an accurate tally of residents. There are representatives from the Senate, the Assembly, the Latino Caucus, Black Caucus, and several community groups. But many at the forum expressed concern about a proposed new question on citizenship status that was added to the 2020 census by the Department of Commerce. The advocates fear it will deter people from filling out census forms. If communities with large numbers of immigrants or non-citizens are undercounted, they won't get their fair share of that. This week, the federal judge ruled against including the question. The case is likely headed to the Supreme Court. In New Brunswick, Leah Mishkin, NJTV News.